from Silicon Valley, Travis Lee is joining us on Yo India TV with his Tech Beat Robots, the self server robot, and you can grab a coffee or a water or any other snack that the bar is serving. And we have that navigation robot which will give you insights into the indoor navigation. And as Sally mentioned, it will be used in the conference itself. So welcome to you in the TV and you know, this is really cool stuff, seeing the robots going around, serving people. And how did you think about designing them, Travis? Well, when the pandemic started, were a lot of hospitality services, you know, restaurants, hotels, they are short sure on labor. And, uh, you know, we, we're living in the 21st century. What a great way to use a robot to help uh, with the help of the restaurant owner and the hospitality with the food delivery. Right. Mm -hmm. For one, you got social distancing. Mm -hmm. Two, you got a lot of entertainment and the upskilling your your your, rest, your hospitality services. And wow. uh, you will give the server more time to focus on serving customers and let the robot do the heavy lifting. Are the waiters in your restaurant getting burned out on delivering food and returning dishes? Are your customers tired of waiting? With Caddy Robots, you can help your staff and generate more money. Our delivery robots waste no time carrying the food to the service station or the customer's table. When done, our robots can send the dirty dishes back to the kitchen. Robots can also deliver small requests, such as napkins and ketchup, in no time. Your waiters are left more energized and can cover more tables while having more time to entertain the customers. Everyone is happy. That means more tips and sales. Our affordable robots are reliable 24-7, attract customers, and help combat labor shortages, staff burnout, and reduce turnover. Hello everyone, this is your host, Asleen Karuja with a Tech Round today. Are you excited about the new beginnings that Silicon Valley is making and you may not even know what's going on around you? Yes, we'll bring you some cool stuff. Sunny is joining me from the Tech Beach Conference. So welcome to Yo India TV with me, Jasleen Karuda. I am really excited about some of the innovative stuff that you are bringing into the notice of a lot of people who live in Bay Area but don't know that this is new, this is already in Bay Area. So tell us a little more about what's going on. So this is a technology and innovation conference, very disruptive in nature in that uh, we are not doing a very uh, you know, large uh, audience, uh, but we are very personalizing this so that everybody gets to learn and share. Uh, that's the kind of environment we are creating. And I'm here with uh, Caddy Robots, uh, who, uh, who is one of the first few conferences here, which will guide people inside the conferences and guide them to their seat. Pretty good robot. Wow, so the use of technology can be seen in the very beginning of the conference. You get there and a caddy bot will guide you to where you should be. You know? Absolutely. It's, it's a techie, techie, tech beat caddy, that's his name. Ah, so he will be receiving you and taking you to, the, to your seats and you know guiding you. It will also uh, serve drinks. Mm -hmm. And that's the idea of this conference actually. We will bring people together and the entire seating system itself is very different. It's not theatrical style. People will be sitting all around uh, in a round table. It's a round table conference. It's a round table and all the, all the screens will fall from different places. Mm -hmm. And it is in a very beautiful environment, a very romantic environment mm -hmm. where there is, uh, you know, Cars, old cars, museum. Yeah, I have seen that Black Hawk Museum that in Danville. Is, that's the one. Is that the one that is housing this conference? Yes, mm -hmm. this is this is being uh, done there. Mm -hmm. So 400 people are only allowed. A lot of them tickets have been sold already. Uh, we are also uh, receiving some interest from uh, different enterprises. Mm -hmm. So we are looking forward to a very exciting venture. Uh, this is the first time in the East Bay that such a conference is being. Tell us why you chose the caddy. Why I chose caddy? Because caddy, I'm a big golf fan. Uh -huh. Caddy is helping golfer to carry their bag and carry do all the little works for the golfer. Mm -hmm. So we want to call our robots caddy because we want this guy to help 
everybody mm -hmm. do the little work, do the hair, mm -hmm. carry, do the little, do all the little hard work for people. So this is more like the Cassie you see in the golf course. Yes, that's why it's called <laughs> yes. It's really assisting you to live your luxurious life. Yes. yes. Comfortable lifestyle. Yes. So Sunny, this is going to be a fantastic conference. From what I'm hearing, there are so many hot topics. There are so many hot technological demos that we'll be looking at. Some of them we just saw these bots. Yep. How did you get into association with Travis? Correct. So I was uh, looking for you know different uh, uh, enterprises and companies, uh, and then all of a sudden, you know, I hit their site, and uh, when I looked at it, I found it very interesting. You know, and especially they are serving the hospitality uh, area. So I called Travis and. Uh, in five minutes, Travis explained to me what this is all about. So then, and what was this? Yes, exactly. When? Uh, this was um, uh, about a month back, maybe. Um, yeah, yeah, around four weeks. weeks yes. Four weeks mm -hmm. around that time. And then when I talked to him, he explained very clearly. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing, right? As I said earlier in the conference, explanation of a complex thing into making it a very simple. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of technology. Technology should be that way. And if you don't explain things in the most easiest way that mm -hmm. a child can understand, mm -hmm. then that is that, that that shows that person doesn't understand clearly. Mm -hmm. So this has been part of by which we told by some very great guy. So likewise, so I liked what he said and then I came and saw the demo and it's just beautiful. People who like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tell us a little more about the technology behind these two. Yeah, all our products are built with the most advanced AI technology and they are self-driving, self-autonomous, uh, self-charging, schedule, uh, everything is autonomous. Uh, automatic uh, path selection, it will go to select the shortest path, go to the nearest, nearest, nearest the table and uh, deliver the drink. And uh, I look forward to meet everybody and uh, tell you more about our robots at the Tech Geek Conference. I know there are various topics, hot topics that will be discussed related to artificial intelligence, of course the bots and we kicked off our discussion with the bots which are a primary part of it. What are the other domains and why should people be interested in something that they already know? You know, a lot of people in the Bay Area are already techies. Correct, correct. Yeah, so so one, for example, artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. We will be talking about, uh, you know, sentient robots. Mm -hmm. You know, where the robots have poor, uh, poor emotions. Mm -hmm. uh, there are, uh, you know, uh, talks like, you know, things, uh, uh, it's, it's being done in a secluded environment, mm -hmm. hidden and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So we just reveal whatever is existing. For example, cyber security. Mm -hmm. In cyber security, we are going to reveal some facts which is not known to the people. Mm -hmm. So, and then there are uh, things like um, movies and artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. How is that going to be? How are the scripts being written? You know, with artificial intelligence, technology perspective. So these kind of uh, subjects, and importantly, uh, there will be talks on myths and science. There is something called quantum entanglement, which has been which has won a Nobel Prize on the research two years back. And uh, how is that uh, the, the the spooky action in the distance? What Einstein said. These kind of things will be discussed in the conference. Overall, we want people yeah. to interact with each other mm -hmm. before the Networking is always a key thing Absolutely. in any conference. Yes. But this is also like bringing in some new ideas from some very fresh uh, entrepreneurs here in Silicon Valley. That's correct. Uh -huh. yes. So tell me about some of the key speakers. Uh, there are speakers from, uh, at this point, we are just uh, you know uh, compiling uh, the subjects and the people. There are a lot number of lined up. So it's still getting lined up. Lined up, yes. Okay. Okay. But it's a day long conference. Which is a day long conference, yes. So exactly. what time it starts? 9 a.m. It starts at 9 a.m. and, and goes ends to at 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. We are serving lunch, mm -hmm. and there will be some entertainment aspects also. Wow, in this conference. musical entertainment. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's how the conference will go on from morning till evening. It's a very open. Uh, environment. Mm -hmm. The whole idea is to uh, give startups and entrepreneurs and you know people who are in the technology field 
uh, and an opportunity to discuss. If you see, if you go to large enterprise, large conferences, you are lost, and you go there, spend time, and then come out with nothing with you. Yeah. Here we want to provide that personal touch to the people. Personal there. touch, solid takeaway, and a lot of fun. Yes, and, you know, US is all about fun and learning together. And Absolutely. Here, it's not just learning; it's a visual demonstration of some of the very cool stuff. Absolutely, you'll see now. Get inspired yeah. and be there. So, what's your website? How can people go ahead book their tickets? Yeah, you can go to TechBeatConference.com. Mm -hmm. And uh, you will see this year's event page there. Mm -hmm. you, it's a very simple site, but it will give you a lot of information. Mm -hmm. If you want to sponsor, you know, very affordable sponsorships are available. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them are getting uh, filled at this time. Mm -hmm. And if you want to buy tickets, you can buy tickets there. Students enter free. We are supporting students. And now, how are you supporting the students? As well, we, for here, students can attend free. Mm -hmm. They don't need to buy any tickets. Tickets are low priced anyway. But they can attend free. So, wow! Yeah. So, is there a particular age group? Uh, well, all uh, college undergraduate students. Mm -hmm. But we are also having uh, very exemplary students who are giving some presentations and talks. Wow! Yeah. So, so you have prepared the next generation also, and we are also aligned for a tech world <laughs> in a tech mode. The first time in the East Bay, you know, this kind of conference has not happened ever yes. in the East Bay, and you know. The Dublin, San Ramon, this Tri Valley area, it's gradually becoming a hub. You know, the Silicon Valley is shifting from Sunnyvale to East Bay, and a lot of tech professionals uh, are already here. And especially, you know, after this work from home culture, Correct. people have become more comfortable and they don't want to move back. <laughs> so, this is giving an opportunity for people to come out. And mm -hmm. one of the things I want to also say is that part of this, um, you know, whatever we collect, will go into uh, you know, underprivileged students too. That's another thing that I want to talk, how we support the students. Mm -hmm. If you go to underprivileged students, you know, in different places, mm -hmm. uh, there is something called ASSET, uh, which is being done in South Asia. Mm -hmm. So we are supporting those students. We have uh, donated for creating houses, uh, for uh, scholarships, uh, things like that we have mm -hmm. done. So basically, the tickets are already reasonably priced, and still the proceeds are being shared with a non-profit for a very, very social and noble cause. The CSR is being taken care of, and these are all the techies like you who have been very, very passionate about their job, about their work, and they have deep dived into their respective fields and come up with some very, very innovative stuff that they are now ready to share with you. Are you ready for some fun learning technological experience right here when you have a privilege to be in the Bay Area? So don't miss out on some of the great knowledge sharing that's going to happen as a part of this conference. It's on Thursday. Take a day off. Join us on 22nd of June for the Tech Beach Conference at Danville, which is in the Black Hawk Museum, yes, at the museum itself is so fun, you know. Exactly. As Sunny mentioned, there are antique cars, there are restaurants, there are ducks floating around. It's just so scenic and a cool place in itself. And whenever you walk out for a break, for lunch or something, or for a networking interaction, it will be a place that you will remember that you were there for such a great cause, for a great conference, and with great company. Yeah. So enjoy being there. Sunny, you would like to add anything? No, I you already said thank you so much for uh, stopping by and interviewing us. And you're going to see the TechBeat Caddy guy mm -hmm. who will be a present there for the conference, the mm -hmm. robot. And you'll also be talking to Travis, uh, one of the partners for the Caddy Robots. He's a great guy. I spoke with him and he has got solid knowledge and mm -hmm. all that. He will help us uh, with the robot. And uh, thanks to just you, your TV. A lot of people you have interviewed big guys and interviewing me. It's a privilege to be in your show. Our pleasure is all ours. All the best. Thank you.